single accident is one too many when it's you versus a streetcar. Even if you're the champion of multitasking while sidewalk cycling, and you think you can easily navigate through downtown New Orleans in your sleep, taking on the streetcar's turf could mean saying goodbye to your wills for good. Stay clear of the tracks and live outside the lines because tracks can kill. The majority of attention focuses on the upcoming completion date of the Sunlink streetcar. Yet, a major concern is the safety for bicyclists who are trying to cross the track. Too often, bicyclist tires get caught in the tracks, leading to serious injury. Girl is riding her bike towards this direction, towards this intersection. But when she slowed up, her uh, bike wheel actually went inside the light rail tracks. And going at a slow speed, it kind of like wiggled her bike a little bit, got caught in there. And her front tire flipped over, and so she flipped over the front part of the bike and literally landed face first on the pavement. And um, she wasn't moving for a while, and of course we called UAPD, the fire department came. I mean, it's dangerous, and people get seriously hurt, like that girl did like a week or so ago. Yeah, it's no fun. It's not fun to be a part of. It's not fun to witness. My girlfriend, Andrea Garland, uh, was coming across the streetcar tracks right at 8th and 4th Avenue, right in front of the Goodwill right there. And she was making a left, but she didn't cross at enough of an angle on the streetcar tracks, so her front tire got stuck in the tracks, which caused her scooter, luckily not to go completely, the handlebars but caused her to eat it over here on one side and caused the scooter to land it. So yes, they're very dangerous. Be very careful. Wheels dropping into the track gap are common causes of bike mishaps in the streetcar environment. Meeting the track at anything but a 60 to 90 degree angle can cause your wheels to drop into the track gap. When negotiating corners on your bike, it's natural to lean into your turn. But this means less grip on the road just when you need it most crossing a rail. Last fall, Amanda Lewis's front bike tire met an unforgiving force, the streetcar's recently installed track. My wheel got stuck and I went flying. She left with a broken arm and returns with a note of caution to cyclists. But I could also imagine somebody coming down that hill, you know, a lot faster and, and something a lot more serious happening. That kind of ruins everything for me. <laughs> and Siddhartha Malone nearly crashed today. Yeah, my tire just got stuck in the track here. And it happens all the time, and I don't like it. You know, it just mess, messes up my whole groove. As a key cutter, locksmith Lon Porter knows a thing or two about grooves. From his perch at 12th and H Streets... I see just about everything that goes on up down the street. He says violent encounters with these tracks are commonplace. They'll be just cycling down the street, and all of a sudden, the tire gets stuck in the track, and boom, over they go. Even the spokesperson for the streetcar program does not advise riding on this route. It is dangerous. In fact, signs have been posted warning riders of the tracks. The best way to avoid an accident along H Street is to not cycle on H Street. The best way to avoid an accident along H Street is to not cycle on H Street.